Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the rollout of the new Outlook for Windows, there's been quite a lot of debate regarding some of the lack of functionality uh, in its features compared to the classic Outlook as an example. And one of these is that it doesn't include PST support, which is also uh, commonly called a Outlook data file, which is very handy as an example if you are wanting a backup of your email messages and your saved email messages. And you can also use your PST to search for specific emails. Now, just to let you know that according to the latest entry in the Microsoft 365 roadmap, this is all set to change and Microsoft is going to be adding PST support to the new Outlook for Windows. And if we head over to that roadmap entry, here we can see this will all start March next year in 2025. Initial version of PST support in new Outlook for Windows. Now, unfortunately at this stage, although it's getting PST support, it's not getting the so-called full package of PST support. There are a couple of limitations and the first version supports only email messages. So it'll only be able to read email messages within the PST file. And you can also see and look for emails, but not change uh, any of your emails beyond obviously reading as they are read only. So here we can see that it says this initial support is limited to mail items and is read only. So there are a couple of limitations. And uh, another uh, so-called limitation is that it says here, all calendar contacts and task data saved in the PST files are still there, but they cannot be accessed in this initial version. So although it's getting PST su uh, file support, um, there are a couple of limitations as we can see, but nonetheless, this is a start and a move in the right direction. So it is starting to move uh, to full on PST support eventually, um, which we hope will start rolling out sometime next year. Now, as mentioned, this uh, initial version is starting in March of 2025. And uh, um, just a bit of a background regarding PST support, in case you were unaware, there are a couple of advantages it does bring. Obviously, it gives you access to all your emails. Um, you can retrieve important information from past uh, communications. You can obviously search emails within PST files. Um, that helps you quickly find different messages, attachments, or information without having to scroll through thousands of emails, as an example. And it can also help with data migration. So as mentioned, it can also help as a backup when you are, as an example, trans transitioning to the new Outlook. And you can still then get access to your old email messages stored in a PST file. So nonetheless, although it's an initial version with limited support, it is a move in the right direction and just wanted to put it out there because I have seen a couple of comments on the channel previously where this uh, is a function that users want PST file support. And just to let you know that that initial support is going to be rolling out starting in March 2025. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.